you let sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, come on in here and talk to me Sit on down and relax your body Come please. in and let's sip this tea Girl, come talk to me Come on in Girl, I'm gonna tell you about the perfect me And how God keeps blessing me Hey, honey. Hey, it is your girl, Miss Lita, and I am back with yet another video. So, guys, today's video, we're going to be talking about Mr. Cryer. I hope you guys are ready for it. Sit back and relax. Let's get into it, honey. Now, before we get started, let me go on and slap up this disclaimer just in case anybody tries to come for me. While I'm magic. Okay, y'all, so let me give you a quick recap. For quite some time now, Love by Erica has been running around here saying that she is getting married. And everybody kept trying to figure out who is the groom. Because, you know, Mr. Cryer has said repeatedly over and over again that he's single. He's single. He ain't getting married. Basically, he's single. He said that he didn't know who the groom was or nothing like that, but it wasn't him when it came to love by Erica and her getting married. But now he has been updating his kitchen and making some updates within his life and in his home. And so we gonna get into this, y'all. We're about to get into it. All right, y'all. Now, when I first seen this picture from one of my subscribers, my thought was, I know you see me. I know you see me. I know y'all remember that old song, you know. Uh, do y'all see what I see? Do y'all see what I see? I know y'all see that wedding band on that man's finger. So, I was like thinking, what the hell? Did Cry go ahead and get married to Love by Erica? Because men don't wear wedding bands unless they already married. So, things that make you say, because hmm. Erica is wearing a wedding ring and now Cryer is wearing a wedding band. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts because right now, sister confused. I thought we were single. And, and wasn't we doing all these gold digger pranks? And now all of a sudden we got a wedding band on our finger? Wasn't they talking about they wasn't getting together because he wasn't attentive enough to her needs and everything else? And now he got a wedding band on? Hmm. Now, my next thought was, most people play keep up with the Joneses. But damn, are they playing keep up with the Muckers? Like y'all remember, back in January, Mucker and Toya both kind of showed their rings on their finger as if they was already married. Now, all of a sudden, Cryer and Erica are both displaying wedding bands and wedding rings on their finger? Like, are they playing keep up or what? Because it seemed like everything that's going on with the muckers, here come the criers. And maybe that was her helpful hint the other day when she dropped that old video and entitled it The Crier Family, um, as if they already family. I don't know, y'all. I'm just asking some questions. Y'all let me know. Now, my next thought was, is this why Mr. Cryer been running around here looking like a little schoolboy, smiling and grinning? I'm just saying, you know, because when he did that video with Love by Erica recently, he was smiling like a, a chess cat. I just don't understand. Like, okay. All right, Mr. Cry, I see you and all the smiles and the giggles and everything else. Like he was acting like a real schoolboy. I just don't know. Y'all tell me, did y'all see it? Now, my next thought was, well, what happened, Cry? Because you've been running around here talking about I'm single. Hi, my name is Hi. My name is single. But now all of a sudden you got a wedding band to deter women away from you? What's going on, Cryer? I thought you was free as a bird. You could date who you wanted to date because you were single. But now all of a sudden you wearing a wedding band? Hmm. Y'all tell me something. 
Now, my next thought was, oh, shit, they running another prank, another series. Like, again, are we playing keep up with the muckers and this is how we do it by creating a series and creating a prank? But then I thought about, well, we spending money on cakes and tuxedos and everything else. Maybe it's a little truth to it. I don't know. Maybe it's a little truth to it, and that's what, what's really going on, that they getting married behind the scenes, and they was trying to throw everybody off. I don't know. Y'all know how they go back and forth, back, back, back and forth, like Aaliyah say, but y'all let me know. Now, my last and final thought was, is he crazy? Is he crazy? Because here it is. He done talked about how she went through his phone and she got Bianca's number and called Bianca. Knowing Bianca didn't fool with him. Then he couldn't have private time with her by having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with her. Because every time that he said something to her, it ended up on the internet. He couldn't give her his password or anything like that because he knows she would go all through his phone and look at everything so why would he go on and marry her knowing all of this if there's already trust issues before you get married then what do you think it's gonna be when you actually get married hmm y'all let me know okay so y'all want my thoughts and opinion here we go if they are married already or if this is a prank in a series trying to Keep up with the muckers. Kudos to y'all. That, that's on y'all. Um, I, I wish them nothing but the best. I don't think it's a wise decision, but that's their life. It ain't got nothing to do with Miss Lita. Now, I, I was proud of Miss Cryer, Mr. Cryer for uh, staying out of the mix of the drama in regards to the books. And... Um, I was proud of him for going on and creating more content, his gold digger content and whatever else, even though it might have been a little quingy, you know, um, I, I was still proud of him because he didn't get wrapped up into that mess. But now to see him with a wedding ring on his finger, I'm just like, crier, crier, crier. But what's going on, bro? Like, wasn't you just talking about how you couldn't have any private time with her because everything that you said was going to be on the internet i i don't i don't get it um and then wasn't it just recently that it came out uh about you and toya's personal conversations i mean i i don't i don't understand like without trust I, I don't see how the marriage would be able to survive. And then every single time that y'all get into an argument or a disagreement or a spat, it's taken to the internet. Like, I, I would think you guys would first take on some counseling before y'all would get married. But, you know, call me crazy. Um, I, I just, y'all, I'm baffled. Like, I really don't know what to say at this point. I, I was happy when Mr. Cryer updating the kitchen that the, the green machine was leaving and that he had got uh his kitchen remodeled. Like I say, and that he had stayed out of the mix of the drama. But now it seemed like he going to be the king of it because here it is. He wearing a wedding band. So I don't know. I, I really don't know. What is y'all's thoughts? Do y'all think Cryer and Erica got married? Or do y'all think it's another prank? Do y'all think they trying to keep up with the muckers and going ahead and getting married? Is this more ways to antagonize them or to throw a little shade? You know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know, y'all. I'm at a loss for words. Somebody help your girl. Somebody help. Help Miss Lita. Now, y'all did miss what I was dropping yesterday. Yesterday, let me go on and clear some up. When I said that she should keep going and try again for business ventures, y'all missed the part where I said that we got to take ownership when we see a pattern that has already started to be put down. The raffle, the book, and not receiving the products. 
So if we went on and purchased yet another item from her, then it was something that was wrong with us because we the one to keep making the purchases and not getting delivery on our tangible goods. Y'all, that's what I was telling y'all. In other words, I'm saying to you, it's still going to be some people that's going to be out there that's still going to support her no matter what, no matter what. But if they see this going on repeatedly, and they go ahead and buy something else from her, then it's on them because there's a pattern that has clearly been established. And so if you are seeing this pattern and you still choose to buy from her, don't come to the internet complaining and talking about you didn't get your money back or you didn't get your product or nothing like that. That's what Miss Lita was saying. She's trying to say it without saying it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I feel like I, I have to say a lot in regards to this young lady. But y'all, that's that's all I'm saying. Maybe the third time will be a charm. Maybe the third time they actually get their tangible goods. Who knows? As the man said yesterday, it took him 14 years to get his stuff together when it came to business. Maybe it's going to take her that long too. Maybe after 14 years, she's going to actually get her business stuff together. Okay. Now, regardless, she still has to have some type of business going on because she got three handsome young men that she is trying to take care of. So she got to be planning ahead for her next business venture in order to make sure that her kids are well taken care of. Now, I do take my hat off to Mr. Cryer with all seriousness because he always says no matter what, her and them kids are going to be good because she has his son. So I definitely commend him for that because some men wouldn't take on that responsibility. Some men would solely take care of their child and their child only, and they wouldn't look at the other two kids. But Mr. Cryer has been there for them all. And I see you, bro. I see you. Like, I truly take my hat off to you. That's what a real man would do. And so... I, I hope that you will rub off on some of these other men who are um, on God's green earth. Let them know that even though you might not have uh, helped to give birth to these young men, if you're going to be in the mother's life, being in the mother's life means that you be in their kid's life as well. And no matter what, the kids have absolutely nothing to do with y'all's relationship, y'all entanglements, whatever y'all got going on. So if y'all fall out, the baby still need to be taken care of. And you took on that responsibility. So I see you, Mr. Cryer. I see you. Proud of you. I definitely take my hat off to you because... Unfortunately, our black men get a bad name around here and the things that are positive don't get the light shined on them enough. And I definitely want to make sure that I give you the spotlight on that. You doing a doggone thing when it comes to being a father and a man and a black man at that. So kudos, kudos, kudos. But anyhow, y'all, I am Miss Lita. I'm opinionated, I'm unbothered, and I am unapologetically me. Until next time, y'all. Bye. All right, y'all. Now, that is the end of this video. Until next time, I am your girl, Miss Lita, wishing you nothing but blessings and hoping that you have a wonderful day. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, share it with some of your friends and family members. Go on and help your girl get to 11K, okay? That's that's my next goal. I'm trying to get to 11K. Make sure you guys also check out my Auntie Vaughn and my Auntie Linda, better known as Vaughn's Vittles Let's Eat and Ms. Linda, M-Z-L-N-D-E. A, okay, and today is Auntie Linda's actual giveaway for her channel. So make sure y'all stay tuned and check it out. It'll be taking place at 6 o'clock p.m. Until next time, bye, honey, bye. Minute, let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to me. Come on in. Girl, come on in here and talk to me. Sit on down and relax your tired feet. Come in and let's sip this tea. Girl, come talk to 